And what does this mean, Sean, for fans? I mean, is it just sort of like a ugh, is a gut punch? Or, I mean, how do the Nats, they're not doing so hot, that's for sure. No. So what does it mean for fans that now this big-time player is leaving? Gut punch would be a soft way of putting this. This is the metaphorical detonation of the Washington <laughs> Nationals franchise. <laughs> wow. Yes. I mean, think of this. Put, put this in your mind. So in a few months, they're going to blow up RFK Stadium and somebody's going to sit there with a plunger. Today, the plunger was pulled down on the Nationals as we wow. know them. And, and they are on the verge of long-term irrelevance here. I mean, we are talking, if, if you go a little bit north to the Baltimore Orioles and they had a, a playoff team in the mid-2010s, Okay, they got rid of a bunch of people. They didn't have somebody on the on the uh, ver- on the level of Juan Soto, mm. but they moved out a bunch of people, and it took them what seven years to get back to the point where they might be competitive here in the next couple of years. Let me let me just throw this one story out as a fan. Okay, one of the most famous stories in baseball is the curse of the Bambino. Yes, <laughs> where the Boston Red Sox sold off Babe Ruth in 1920 to a guy named Harry Frazee so he could get money to fund the Broadway show No No Nanette. And as Dave Preston, who's from New England, it's wicked well knows, tough, wicked tough to stomach <laughs> over those eighty-six years. Eighty-six years before the Boston Red Sox won a World Series title. That was the curse of the Bambino. Today, it's the curse of the childish Bambino. Mm. This is when a team gives up on a player like Juan Soto, who could be one of the greatest hitters of mm. all time. You have set your franchise back years.